Well, okay. So we want to look at, this is Tyler, by the way. Nice to meet you. We're looking at subtracting fractions, okay? So this is like a, moving up to the more advanced level of subtraction, all right? So we've got three over four minus five over 12. Okay, first off, I can drop that parentheses. I don't need it, there's nothing inside there that changes it. It says three over four minus five over 12. Now, if you remember your rules of fractions, I wanna erase this so you don't get confused. If you remember your rules of fractions, addition and subtraction, to add and subtract fractions, you have to have common denominators. That means you have to have the exact same um, bottom number, okay? Now to do that, if they're not the same, you're gonna have to multiply one or both of them until you have the same denominator, all right? We know four and 12, the lowest number that both of those go into. So a lot of people are like, um, four, because four is, no, you can't, it has to be at least, the minimum number you can have is your biggest number, okay? That's just the way it goes. All right, so we know 12 is the smallest we can do. Does four go into 12? Yes, it does. One times four equals 12, three. So I take both of these and multiply them times three. I'm not changing the problem. No matter what I multiply this by, as long as I multiply both of them, I'm gonna keep the same fraction. Think percentage, that's 75% or 0.75 of one of them. Doesn't matter how high I go, if I go 75 over 100, still the same number, okay? So I'm not changing it as long as I attach it to both. Three times three is nine, three times four is 12. Then I'm gonna subtract five over 12. The most, the simplest way to remember how to subtract fractions, adding is easy, just add across and keep the same denominator. Well, guess what? Subtracting is the exact same way. 12s are gonna stay the same. 12 gonna 12, it's like Steph Curry. Steph gonna Steph. 12 gonna 12, and that's gonna stay 12. We don't subtract, we don't do nothing, because if you subtracted the two 12s, you'd have zero. You can't divide by zero. So kind of think that one through. You're like, oh, this is a weird answer. Yeah, it's because you messed up. All right, don't subtract the bottom. We wanna just subtract the top, nine, minus five is four. Now, can we simplify four over 12? Yes. What goes into both of these? Four. How many times four going to four? One time. How many times four going to 12? Three times. You just subtracted fractions, my friends. Oh, hey, it's me, Michael Jordan, shoemaker. I want you to know that if you don't click that little circle there to subscribe, then uh, you won't ever find your true love. That's a fact. It's like an email letter, email chain letter. If you're not 45 years old, you will not get that joke. Not important. Wait, click that. Anyways, I'll wait. <laughs>